I'm seeing them where I hadn't been born, I think Nashville, Tennessee, America would be a lesser place. I think of John as the kind of person, the kind of citizen, that I think the founders of this nation hoped that the new nation would produce. John Singenthaler actually changed my life um, in, in many ways. Um, I loved the newsroom and really fell in love with journalism um, and quickly decided that that's what I wanted to do as a career. But nobody in my family had ever gone to college. And Sid got wind of this and called me in his office, scared the crap out of me because I didn't think he even knew who I was. And he said, you know, Gail, I can teach you how to write, but I can't teach you what to write about. And from that day on, he sort of took me under his wing, and it, nothing's been quite the same since. What I've always said about John Siegenthaler is that you hear about a lot of people with great reputations. He, among all others, exceeds that reputation. I have enormous respect for him. My wife once asked me is there, if there was anything John could ask me to do that I wouldn't do. Um, I had to honestly answer no. If John Siegenthaler had not been born, I would not be sitting here before you today. I probably would not, I would not be alive. My sentence would have been carried out and I would have died as a result of that. There's never a dull moment with John. Uh, he is always so caring and kind. He's, he's not my boss, he's my friend. Um, and he and Dolores are my family. If you look, and all the people he trained, newspaper editors, newspaper reporters, columnists, photographers, artists, and uh, editors. He uh, was responsible for sending journalists out all across this country to defend the First Amendment and to support good journalism. If John C. Thaler hadn't been born, this nation would have lost uh, a great example of grace under pressure, of uh, what it means to have integrity, uh, of courage, and, uh, and also they would have lost a guy with a great sense of humor. If he hadn't been born, there would have been one less hero. There would have been one less man willing to risk everything to do what was right. John has been an inspiration to all of us because of leading the way by example. If John Siegenthaler hadn't been born, the Tennessean wouldn't be the Tennessean. It's as simple as that. If John Siegenthaler hadn't been born, I would have a much larger office. If John Siegenthaler had not been born, I would not be doing what I'm doing. And I love my job, and I just want to say, John, thank you for changing my world and my life. My message to John Siegenthaler is that I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you for opening doors for me. I thank you for giving me opportunities that I probably would never have had. I thank you for mentoring me and for pushing me uh, not to be mediocre, but to be the best that I could be. It is really hard for me to conceive what life would be like in Nashville without John Siegenthaler. He is probably the best embodiment of the idea that one person can make a difference, that one person can, through the way they live their life and the way they treat others and the values they hold, uh, make a city a better place to be.